Now at six o'clock, this story. He was so different from anyone I've ever known. Honoring a life lost through simple acts of kindness. The family of Ethan Song is carrying out his legacy by doing just that, and they're asking others to take part. The Guilford teen accidentally shot himself while at a friend's house back in January. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland sat down with the family. He is live with the Mobile Newsroom in Guilford tonight with their story. Matt, good evening. Good evening, Aaron. Well, no doubt the holidays will be tough, but the family is staying strong by remembering Ethan, honoring his life, and even fulfilling a wish. There are pictures of a smiling young boy throughout the Guilford home, but for Ethan Song's family, there is another photo, one you won't see here on this wall, but one that gives you a pretty good idea of just what type of kid he was. He saw a picture of our friend putting a wreath on a veteran's grave. And so he said, we should do that next year. And I said, absolutely. While 15 year old Ethan never got the chance, his family is making sure his spirit lives on this holiday season. I contacted a couple of people I knew that run tree farms. And I said, do you guys have any wreaths left over? We just, the four of us just want to lay some wreaths in honor of Ethan because he really wanted to do this. From there, word spread with many around town saying they wanted to take part this weekend at Alderbrook Cemetery. For the Song family, it's acts like this that have helped them stay strong since that tragic January day when Ethan accidentally shot himself with a gun at a friend's house. The very day after, Chris said, look, we've got to at least have one positive thing that happens as a result of this. So let's try to raise $5,000 for a good charity. Before they knew it, they raised more than $100,000. And that's when we had the idea, maybe we could create a foundation that you could, you could give money every year. And that's what they're doing. From a bowl -a thon to a road race to a spike ball tournament, a game Ethan enjoyed playing. It was important for me and Evan, I think, and um, the other people in our family to do this, and it ended up being amazing. We got a great turnout. Ethan's sister Emily and brother Evan organized the tournament with a turnout more than they could ever imagine. We were just hoping for like 50 teams, but we got over, uh, over 100, 100 teams. So we had like 110, I think. So that's over 200 players. And then I would say we had at least 500 people coming throughout the day uh, supporting. So, the, I mean, the place was packed. And the family is already planning those events for this spring and summer, along with a gun buyback. You really have, like, two options when you lose a child. You can either, like, crawl into yourself and, you know, and I get that because we did that for a couple of months. Or you can go out and be the change. And we're more of a family that's, you know, feels like love, continuing to love Ethan through our actions. Now, for those looking to get involved in any of those fundraisers, or just wanting to find out when they're taking place, the family says the best thing to do is to join the Ethan Song Act of Kindness Facebook page. We've got the link on the Channel 3 app. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Guilford. Matt McFarlane, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.